Hi, I'm Bob Monkill, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. You might recognise these faces, they're a bunch of YouTubers. We've just been doing our podcast and I thought I'd just grab their opinions on um, their player this season and the game this season and uh, who they'd like to see coming with the club with obviously all the speculation uh, that we're beginning with. So I'm going to start with, I may as well start with you Will, uh, player this season for you. For me, Matt Ritchie, um, I reckon he saved us at times where it was um, where it looked as though we were going to drop points such as Burton, such as Wigan, two games in a row essentially. Um, his passion is unbelievable for the club, literally run through brick walls or corner flags um, and yeah, absolutely fantastic But I think a few honourable mentions like Clark and Hayden, especially for their value for money. Goal of the season? Ooh, I reckon Shelby versus QPR away in the 6-0. I mean, that was just unbelievable. Also, Perez versus Ipswich, I like a good team goal. Yeah, I'm Shelby. I'm going to come to you, Alicia. Uh, player of the season? I've got to be Matt Ritchie again. Why? Um, I just think his consistency throughout, I just think he's been a really good player. He's put everything into it, and I think he's just that one reliable player. Game of the season? Um, it's got to be... got to be when we got promoted. Is that when we got promoted? Yeah. Let's just mix it up a little bit. For uh, Sharky, moment of the season. Preston, I think the, the, the fact that we were promoted. We're promoted, not the not the uh, championship. Champions. Oh yeah, but the fact that the, before that, like, that the, was the, the moment. The, the moment that we got promoted, the fact that it took us so long, and we actually finally done it. The, everyone came together, and it was just a good all round night, wasn't it? And uh, obviously, you know, we always do things the hard way. The sport Newcastle United, we don't do anything easy. Unsung hero this season for you. <sighs> As in a buy, he was like, wow, didn't expect that. I think Hayden Cleveland Yeah, yeah that was it Yeah, Hayden, 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 Hayden <laughs> Bloody hell Thought we were going to be here all night Yeah, no, no Hayden, what, what a buy he's been for, You know, from Arsenal A young lad, you know He's a, he's got so much potential You know, he's he's, he's tracked back when he's had to he's, You know, he's attacked when he's had to And he's, you know He's just been such a good all-round player and Yeah, good buy Keen Clark as well We're just going to talk about I'll squeeze in here Because um, obviously we're linked To literally every player Left, right and centre I'm getting quite sick of it But can you Who do you want to see Come in and why? What is in the names I like to see the most? Because I could probably yeah, rattle yeah. off who a lot. You, who would you like to see come um, Anybody? If I could choose realistically of players that would probably be available, I would say Sigerson would be a dream buy. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I I think we definitely need to think about strikers at least. Although I think you can debate that we don't sort of need to really change it. Um, I reckon if you are going to talk about Sturridge, I reckon Sturridge is the obvious name that pops up, but other players such as Wilson, uh, Joshua King, uh, we definitely, I think wingers would probably be my first, where I, I of the number at, 10. Um, I would, because I think at the minute we don't have a full set of wingers, to be honest, whereas number 10, you can argue we do. Um, I reckon Townsend, Jay Rodriguez, a couple of names that have come up, they would definitely be ones that I'd be looking at. Got to mix it up, Alicia, who do you not want to say leave? Um... You say, right, this person, yeah. th- these players cannot be for sale for whatever reason. Money can't buy this, these players. Probably Shelby, Richie, Clark, Lascelles, players like that. So if someone goes, I'm going to give you 20 million for Keon Clark? I think I've just answered that yeah. question there. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult, that one. Um, there's 20 million for Keon Clark. Think, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to happen now, but you know, um, they're, they're the one you would, would not want to. That's, that's yeah. where you're building the team. Uh, right, so Sharky, uh, just touching on Wills, would you agree or would you, who would you like to see coming as well? I pretty much agree with Will. I'd like to see like Sturridge come in. I'd like to see um, J- Joshua King come in. Obviously, expanding like James McCarthy, and uh, just a few more players just to bolster the squad a little bit. You know, but a bit more experience because playing in the Premier League it's a totally different league to the Championship. It's fast paced, and you know we're going to have to really hit the ground running in the Premier League. Can any of the under twenty threes out on loan or current in the twenty threes get in the first team? It's a difficult one at the moment because obviously with the window, uh, Rafa's obviously going to have his ideas of players that he wants to sign. You know, big big name players in the big league. You know, playing for Newcastle United. But it's not to say that the likes of um, you know Ambabu can't play, the likes of you know Armstrong can't play. But you know, each and every player's got question marks on them. Do you know what I mean? So it's going to be very 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 interesting, obviously in terms of the summer and what you know what we're going to do and plan ahead. Right, I'll go for everybody here. Um, where is the problem position? Just the, just the position. Up front, I would say, because in the in the Premier League we need goals. Up front, problem position for you, Alicia? Um, number 10. Sorry, number, number 10. Uh, I would have to say number 10. Number 10 as well. Thanks for watching Newcastle Fans TV. See you later.